Hello everyone, I'm Morgan from Yellow Scan. Before we dive into this new product presentation, I would like to talk to you a little bit about Yellow Scan. Yellow Scan philosophy is uh, to is committed to create products that are easy to use, ready to work, and designed to innovate. Countless hours of work have gone behind the planning and making of each one of our system. Their design is thoroughly and carefully thought out to the very last detail. Yellowskin's ecosystem is based on three pillars. The first one is our compact turnkey hardware with embedded batteries that are designed, built, supplied, fully complete and ready to operate. The second one is our software with an amazing user experience that is the yellow scan cloud station and last but not least our committed customer support team is there for you a special training is organized to get you started with your system and a one-year limited support is included as we believe that everyone should be comfortable operating their systems we want to make sure our customers feel like they are part of a supportive community whether they are new to the industry or experts. Now it's time to join Tristan, our Chief Technical Officer, to talk about the mapper. After a short introduction about Yellow Scan, I am now here with Tristan Alwis, our Chief Technical Officer, to talk about this new edition, the Yellow Scan Mapper. So first we're going to talk to you about this little story and how it began. It started in 2019 when Livex company released its Horizon Scanner on the market, which looks to be a very good candidate to be integrated in a Yellow Scan solution dedicated to our survey customer that require productive tool. We tested the scanner as soon as we could and we were stunned by the performance of our prototype since the first flight. Precision was great, the range was longer than most of the other scanner we tested it so far and the price was incredible for this level of quality. Um, so we decided to integrate the system and uh, make a, a cheaper solution than never before in the Yellowscan product range, but while maintaining the high quality standard of uh, our products. At Yellowscan, it is really important for us to select carefully every core components of our systems. Indeed, our mapper is a great option, not only because of the scanner itself, but also because we integrate survey grade uh, GNSS aided inertial and navigation system, uh, the APX15 from Aplanix. Uh, this uh, IMU comes together with the post-processing software Postpack, uh, and this combo has gave us uh, reliable, stable, and highly accurate results over the past five years. Story has been shared. Now let's see the product that Yellowscan created. So here is the Yellowscan mapper. It's a fully integrated system packaged into an IP55 box to avoid any uh, problem with uh, rain or drop when you are on the field. It integrates this laser scanner that we talked about, protected by a sliding cap to avoid any dust uh, when you operate on the field. Uh, it also integrates, of course, this uh, IMU that we talked about, the Aplenix APX15. We also include a battery for uh, saving power uh, on the drone side and to uh, increase flight time. We have different connectors. One is for the GNSS antenna. One is for an optional external power. 
And this one is for uh, data communication to uh, stream um, point cloud down to the ground to visualize it live with our live station. We have an optional 20 megapixel camera module to collect uh, photogrammetric quality data. Um, and this is a one press button operation to collect scanner and uh, camera data. We designed the system to be standalone and you can put it on any kind of drones. But for a GGI user, we have integrated the Skyport for easy um, operation on the Matrix 300. And uh, the system comes in a, back, a backpack for uh, safe and easy transportation. But let me show you some data. So we flew uh, just over there around the, the sports field to survey this uh, construction area. And uh, I will now use the Yellowscan Cloud Station to process the data. You can process it on the field right after flight. Um, you can see the different flight line. You can select specific area that you need. And by a single press also uh, generate the point cloud. And there's different option for colorization to visualize in 3D your data set. Here the point cloud is colorized by altitude from clear to red. You can see the sport field that we just surveyed. You can also colorize by uh, eco number or by um, strip, different strip that have been used and also by uh, intensity value of the LiDAR. If you have the camera module and the color module for the cloud station, you can colorize the point cloud by RGB values coming from uh, images collected at the same time as uh, the LiDAR flights. We also propose the terrain module allows you to classify between ground and on ground and uh, remove any uh, ground objects in order to reveal the terrain model. This is useful for many different applications to see through vegetation. We also propose a strip adjustment module to help you finely tune the matching between the different LiDAR strips because sometimes they can remain a little mismatch due to uh, GNSS issues. There's different options for that uh, and you can also use or not GCP if you have some. And by a single click is launching your strip adjustment process, allowing you to retrieve the best solution as possible for your end products. So here the process have improved the match by uh, six uh, millimeters. Thank you Tristan and thank you everyone for watching this video today. You can now find more information on our website www.yellowskyn-lada.com and follow us on social media to stay updated with all Yellowskyn information. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.